Hello everyone, today we're going to see five ways of fixing our graph. Hello everyone, how are you doing? I am Juan Lara from DL Oral Surgery and with my partner in crime, Jose Luis Montpel. Today we're going to see five ways of how to fix or how we can fix our bone graft. Nowadays it's very important to know how to fix bone grafts. Why? Because there are more and more cases that came to our offices and they want to have implants placed and there is not enough bone. So what can we do? We have to perform a bone grafter procedure or a bone reconstruction and we are going to need either a membrane, titanium mesh, bone blocks or curry, thin bone blades, many other techniques that need to be fixed in any way or another because why do we need to fix our bone grafts? We cannot allow a bone graft to be unstable, to be movable. We need our bone graft to be unmovable because if it's movable it's going to expose and we're going to lose everything. We need as much as we can to have immobility in our bone grafts. How much bone do we need around our implants? We can not place an implant and leave the cortical really thin. Why? Because that bone is going to disappear, it's going to resorb, there is not enough thickness of that bone to get a vascularization that is going to keep that bone alive. So how much bone do we need around our implants? We need at least two millimeters of bone around our implant. If we don't have those two millimeters, we are going to probably have a resorption of the bone and it will lead into transparency of the gum. It is going to be easy to identify the implant and also the implant doesn't get along very well with soft tissue. The implants get along very well with the bone but not with soft tissue. So we might have problems. So we recommend you always that you have a thin bone, place some bone graft on it to avoid these situations. The first tip or the first way to fix our bone graft is an old technique that nowadays we are not using a lot, but still being useful sometimes. With surgical steel wires, we can do a perforation in our bone graft. We will also perform a perforation of the recipient side, and we will go from the bone graft to the recipient side with our steel. We will fix it, and that will keep our uh, bone graft unmovable. The second way to fix our bone graft can be done with pins and membranes. This is a really common technique and very used uh, all around the, the world and is, is the, the classical method to perform a GBR bone grafting. We just have to place a membrane that is going to keep separated the bone graft from soft tissue and fix this membrane to the recipient side with little pins that we have to place with a hammer. We have to hit it a couple of times and that way we'll keep bone graft immovable and separated from the soft tissue. Another way of fixing our bone graft is with suture. Sometimes we can use it for membranes also. We do a periosteum suture and we go back to the periosteum of the other side. For example, in the back we can suture to the periosteum and in the palatal we can go for the soft tissue of the palatal and we can keep with this suture the membrane immovable. The fourth way to fix our bone graft is with mini plates. Titanium mini plates are really used nowadays, especially for orthognathic surgery, for fractures, and they are really easy and really fast. Uh, this is the modern way of fixing the, the fractures and they are a really good solution. For example, when we have a bone graft and there is um, uh, this huge defect that we cannot uh, fix with our screws or with a uh, membrane, so we can place our uh, mini plate away from the side, fix away from the side where we are reconstructing, but one side of the mini plate is going to get to the reconstruction side and hold our bone blocks, our curie thin bone blades in place without any mobility at all. The good thing about this way is that you don't have to remove those mini plates, you can leave them there, there is no any problem at all, so the second stage surgery can be really, really small. You don't have to raise a big flap to remove it, and it's going to keep our bone graft immobilized at all. I mean, there's not going to be any mobility. And the fifth way of fixing our bone graft is with screws. Osteosynthesis screws are nowadays really trendy. We can use it for almost everything. We can use it even 
to hold our membranes instead of pins and keep the membrane immobilized and also you don't need to remove those screws if they are from titanium. It's also a really good way of fixing our bone plates. They get into the bone quite hard so it's going to get us a lot of immobilization of the bone graft so it's a really good option and also for the mini plates we need these uh, stasynthesis screws to keep the mini plates immobilized. So it's a really, really good way we encourage you to, to have your osteosynthesis kit screw always on the clinic just in case, for example, if we are, we are removing a tooth and the buckle plate uh, breaks, we can fix it with a couple of screws and it's going to be easy and it's going to be fast. Also, we can use them for immobilized titanium meshes with a couple of screws, very short screws, three millimeters, you don't even have to drill in 10 seconds you have your screw placed it's really fast and they get really hard into the bone it's going to be really strange that the screw pop out it's not like a pin that sometimes can pop out the screw is very difficult to pop out so it's it's a very good option for bone grafting the diameters of this uh, osteosynthesis screw goes from one millimeter to 1.2 1.4 1 1.6 we used and we recommend you to use 1.2 which is enough to have our bone graft immobilized, stable and if we would go bigger the problem is that we will have less bone because the bigger we do our, our hole or our, we drill the less bone we are going to have so 1.2 is perfectly good for fixing our bone grafts and the length that depends of the uh, bone defect if we are going to place a membrane or a titanium mesh with three millimeters length is more than enough in these cases you don't have to drill they are self drilling and self tapping and in bigger defects we are going to place eight millimeters length 10 or even 12 millimeters so guys thank you for watching the video until now we will do another video only for osteosynthesis screws and only for titanium meshes so you can see a little bit deeper how are we managing this kind of, of uh, ways of fixing our bone grafts and as we always say the scalpel on your hand but the prosthesis work on your mind see you soon